and they form like a mob of people and then they just bash the sh** out of this poor nail tag. It sickens me to the bone. Online bullying and mob culture, mob behavior like this is not okay and we seriously need to stop this. guys and uh, welcome to this vlog right now I am getting ready uh, got a full schedule for today hang on getting my tea ready five day certification class and it's like lots of tea in here and she also did like a little note explaining exactly what it is because it is in Finnish and I don't speak Finnish I just love getting tea I'm very happy about that so thank you so the plan for today is that oh this was exciting I don't know if you can see that no you probably can't it's like um, mulberry stuff in here I'm getting my hair done today we and <laughs> As you know, I like to switch it up from time to time and uh, this is not going to be an exception. We are definitely going to switch it up. However, I don't know if I am going to get the exact shade that I want today, but uh, we're going to take it step by step and but it will definitely be a difference, trust me. So that is what we're going to do. I woke up this morning that sounds like a song with migraine um uh, well easy migraine hang on need to get milk i have like one of my migraine um, sessions i've had migraines for a couple of days now i think it's on the last day probably i don't think i will have to take any pills today i think i can manage without but it's still it's a pain so to say let's sit down Whew. Yesterday and this morning has been quite dramatic on uh, social media. Well, yesterday was not really dramatic. It was just that I had one of my rant posts. I know that some of you probably hate it. Some of you might love it. I like to speak up when there are things that I don't agree with, especially when people are getting exposed to what I think is not fair so right now there's a trend going on on facebook in certain nail groups it's like a picture with what i asked for and then right next to that picture is like what i got so nails obviously and then they get on this post and they form like a mob of people and then they just bash the sh out of this poor nail tech who probably did the best job she or he could this is a trend going on right now like what i asked for versus what i got it sickens me to the bone i'm not going to talk about that too much now because i think i need to sit down and do it a little bit later today maybe and then there's another trend going on here on youtube which i despise with my soul and that is I visit the worst ranked salon in my city and look at this and blah blah so then if you haven't seen it people basically take a camera with them into a salon and then they secretly film themselves getting this treatment whatever is it nails hair hair makeup whatever and then they go out and they sit down in the car and just totally mock and trash this poor salon and i know that some of these salons obviously don't know how to perform a service like it's it's bad some of them are like legend like really bad but it doesn't matter you don't do that it's i hate this trend because obviously it's not just gonna target the people that deserve it still i don't think that anyone deserves it but it's also gonna spill out on people that actually try and they are working hard and it's just a um, bullying culture right now in general it blows my mind people love to watch people fall that's the thing it's like a you know the canceling culture on youtube right now people love to build people up and then watch them fall and this tea was really really good 
Okay, so I've been talking for a long time now. I really need to go. And after hair, uh, I'm going actually to Christian's studio and we are going to continue with a new song and also finish up the album. Yes, we do got an album coming up. So I'm super excited about hair today and uh, we, I think we need to move like pretty much now. Okay. Guys, Selena here. We're going to do this with the juice in the vi kommer lägga en mörk botten, leka upp längderna, ha lite olika fiffningar i. Vi vill inte slita så mycket på håret så vi kommer göra det här lite olika omgångar. Mm. Nu håller vi på att ljusa upp längderna med 6% lid letning. Jag lägger ganska tunna slingor så att letningen verkligen kommer in genom håret och får en jämnare upplösning. Och sen tar jag inte helt emot botten eftersom att vi ska lägga ett djup i botten sen så låt hennes egna vara. Hur fin? Så himla bra! So we just finished up this hair session and I am as usual so happy and uh, I love hanging out at Michael's because everyone there is so nice and it's just a really positive and great and fun attitude or like energy so uh super happy about this morning and now i am headed off to christian studio and me and jt are going to sit down and do some editing for the new mu music video or well color grading and then me and christian are going to continue with the new song uh, another song and then yeah, the rest of the album. And here you have everything. Thought you might want to see what it looks like and I'm so happy. Well, good morning again. <laughs> yeah, so it is the next day. The reason why I awkwardly just skipped from yesterday to today without finishing or continuing vlogging yesterday was that i i've had a migraine attack for a couple of days and i did have one yesterday i was as i was filming it was okay i could handle it but then during the hair appointment it just got worse and worse and worse so after i was not feeling too well uh, i went over to christian's studio as you saw and I had to take my migraine pills and sometimes they make me really drowsy and tired so it was just not the best time to film maybe and honestly it maybe wasn't the most fun thing to film anyway so basically what I did is that I went to uh, JT's room and we were checking out the new uh, well the video so we're looking at some um, color um, grading stuff I can actually um, insert a little a teaser from what we did so I'm gonna do it right here so we were just looking at different yeah gradings see what we like and I think that we set a date now when the song and the video is gonna be released probably hopefully October 11 so you should check that out if you want to follow us Star Cassette you have us on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook of course after that, um, I sat with Christian for a little while and we were just going over all the songs that we have for the album and just checking if we need to change anything or add anything. So we made kind of a checklist. So he will have to 
go through that and then I need to add some more vocals to some of the songs like some stuff that's missing some things that I want to change and I also showed him the new lyrics and melodies that I did for our new song and he loved it that was fun because I really love this song I think it's gonna be one of my favorites and then we went home and that's pretty much it we had dinner and went to bed as I told you yesterday there's been a lot of like drama things and well not a lot of drama things but there was some drama yesterday regarding the post that I did let's start Double check because this post is going crazy all over uh, the internet well the nail internet so let's see if you don't know which post I'm talking about um, I'll put a little something in here so you can find it later if you want to read it so it has been shared almost 800 times now and uh, I have 315 comments on Facebook and on the Instagram uh, it has been shared 340 times and I have 370 comments and it's amazing because I would say 99% of you guys are just agreeing with me saying that online bullying and mob culture mob behavior like this is not okay and we seriously need to stop this I can tell that it's beginning to be like a serious problem I don't accept this in any way or form so hopefully you guys are on my side and we can I don't know I don't really know how to beat it I want to be able to use my platform for good I want to be able to use the the reach that I have and if I have a lot of people looking up to me as an educator I want to use that in the best way that I can and make sure that people behave in a nice way because I think that's one of the hardest things for me to accept with the world that people are mean and intentionally mean like I have such a hard time accepting that it is what it is but I don't have that in me so I have a hard time understanding other people that wants to be mean but anyways today I uh, wanted to continue vlogging so this is gonna be a two-day vlog and we got two clients coming in it's actually the girls from uh, it's a swedish podcast uh, called uh, spark podden no spark timmen like ghost hour let me double check it sounds like i haven't listened to it but i listen to it all the time uh, yeah spark timmen so that's ghost hour uh, it's a podcast where they talk about ghostly stuff <laughs> so obviously <laughs> i like it <laughs> But they are coming here today. Got Jenny first, I think, and then Lynn. So that's gonna be fun. And I figured um, I'm gonna film that for you. So, uh, because we didn't do anything else yesterday, so I might as well film something today. Oh, by the way, still loving my new hair style. I hope you like it as well. It's nice to be back in blonde. Blondes are more fun, but kinda. Yeah, always so happy to be spending time with um, Michael and his uh, hairdressers. I'm actually leaving for the UK tour in just a couple of days. What is it? One stage is with three days. Ah, uh, crazy. It's gonna be fun. If you haven't signed up to that yet, if this video gets up before that, you should sign up to my UK tour and you can find all my classes at selenarenan.com. Oh, by the way, ooh. I need to tell you something else. Sorry, okay, I'm gonna do this real quick because now I've been blabbering off forever. I just added my recommended artists on my website. So those are the artists, nail techs, that passed the certification for the Selena Radden Certified Nail Artist class. So uh, they are now listed on my website. I can put it up here so you can see it. And if you want to be a recommended nail artist as well and use the title, Selena Ryden Certified Nail Artist, uh, you can sign up here um, on selenaryden.com as well. And next class is gonna be in December, so check that out. Now I need to eat my freaking breakfast and uh, because, you know, they're gonna be here very soon, so. But a uh, nice morning chat with you guys and uh, yeah, let's continue the day. Like, ooh, yay. Okay, so I feel like I just want to come in here real quick and explain to you what's going on. And without bashing anyone, it's not what it's all about. Uh, Jenny, unfortunately, I didn't have time to help her during the summer and she had to see 
a couple of different nail tags unfortunately it didn't really work out and as you can see she also ripped her index finger off just right before she came in so it's gonna be a huge transformation and uh, we're gonna fix that with some silk and some fiber glass Can't help myself You know too well I need you close Can't help myself Try to stop the fire under your spell Can't help myself Can't help myself You know too well I need you close Can't help myself Try to stop the fire under your spell Can't help myself done and now I need to get some lunch I actually have a pasta thing that I'm just gonna heat up in the microwave that I got last um, week still good though and then I have my next client in about 30 minutes I was uh, very happy with the results and Jenny was also happy with the results she brought me an inspiration picture from another artist right now top of my mind I can't figure out his uh, Instagram name but I will put it of course in here so that you can uh, check him out as well he's really good it was fun to get a challenge for sure yep so now um, food pasta with shrimps and salmon
Ryan left 30 minutes ago. I have been cleaning up a little bit. I've been doing some social media stuff and I also noticed something really cool on Facebook. As I told you about the previous, uh, well, the post that I did yesterday, it's crazy what kind of is going on right now. It has been shared so much that it actually has done an impact on you guys, which is so crazy. I went on Facebook, uh, it's like 10 minutes ago, and I saw one of these, uh, what I asked for versus what I got pictures. So what they do is that they take a picture from Pinterest or Instagram, and then they, right next to that, they take a picture of their own nails, and then they compare it like, this is what I asked for, this is what I got. And obviously the lighting is different, camera's different, angles does so much. So obviously it's gonna look worse in most cases, but now I could actually see that like almost all of you guys were defending this person like the the per the person who did the client's nails and saying you know they look amazing the nails are fantastic and uh, with the right lighting and angle and um, camera it should probably look exactly like the same picture that you asked for and also you were saying like well it depends on the client's hands and the shape of the nails and you can't have the exact same thing la 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 and you were being so like the way you are defending this and like the the person and how you are trying to make it stop you are doing it in a very respectful and mature way and i appreciate that so much i don't want to add any more hate or add fuel to this i just wanted to stop and you are doing that in the most amazing way and i actually like had real goosebumps over like my entire body because i was so proud seeing that and how the mentality and the tone and everything has flipped to something completely different and the way that i wish it could be and that gives me hope you guys because that means that respect and love could actually win sometimes if you really put your heart into it and i'm just one person and if i can do something like this and make people see it in a different way we can all do something of course i have a, a big platform to use and you know that's why i wanted to use it because i i feel like i have a responsibility to use it in a good way and that's also something i was talking about in my previous vlog that i want to to add something to the world and not just post pretty things i want to do something bigger if that makes sense just wanted to say that i'm so proud of you guys and thank you for supporting me in uh, this little mission you touched my heart i just wanted to say that you really touched my heart so i've started to close whoop, down the studio for today and now i am gonna go home and start working on the pictures from today's two sets and maybe even start working on this vlog right here so that i can get it up to uploaded to you as fast as i possibly can kristen's gonna be home soon also i think so we're just gonna have dinner maybe watch something on netflix and just have a chill evening tomorrow i have an appointment uh, i'm gonna get botox uh for my migraines so it will be a chill day tomorrow uh, i will also go to the studio tomorrow as well not my studio but christmas studio because we are going to talk a little bit more about the um music video and then i think we're gonna we're actually gonna practice tomorrow so we're gonna uh, practice we're gonna rehearse sounds way cooler we're gonna rehearse with star cassette i'm really looking forward to that so it's gonna be a nice day tomorrow i am going to end the vlog here and now you know the usual uh follow me on all my social media so instagram and facebook and here you know subscribe on youtube and add that little notification bell so you know when i upload new stuff once again love you guys so much you know that see you next time bye can't help myself